Hi, I'm Pat Sloan, and I want to give you two short videos about how I'm attaching pre-quilted sections to each other for my Quilt Your Own Quilt Sew Along. This is Grandma's Kitchen, the first two rows, and then down here are the next two rows. And I've already written tutorial about all of this. And I want to show you up close here how I prepare the two sections so I can quilt, so I can sew them together. This is typically called Quilt As You Go, and there's many ways to do it. This is just one of them. Uh, it's the one I, I'm using. So on the top section, I've trimmed everything even, the side and the and this length here, because this is going to attach to this section. So you can see here's the, whoops, here's the backing and the front and the batting. You know, everything's trimmed tidy. On the lower section, I have the edge trimmed, but then up here, what I did is I need to leave uh, some of the backing so that it will cover this seam when they're sewn together. And because I don't want to have extra batting, I have trimmed my batting here. This edge is going to line up right there when I, when I put the two together. And then afterwards, once they're sewn, which will be in the next video, I'll show you the next step, this will be turned under and hand stitched to cover the seam. This is very thin batting, so when you attach them, that thin batting is not going to make a huge difference uh, to how the seam feels. And then when you wash it, you're never probably even going to notice it. So this is uh, video one of a two-part video on how I uh, quilt your own quilt. The bonus tip for sewing this section, pre-quilted section, to this pre-quilted section, which um, I will be doing in the next video.